let me go over uh, the power rules when you're simplifying algebraic expressions. So uh, let's start with an example. Suppose uh, you have x x to the power of 4 times x squared. So here you can say these are uh, powers or these are variables with the same base and different powers. So well using the rule the power rule you can say you can add the add the powers so here you can say this is x to the power of 4 plus 2 okay so let me explain what's the meaning of so this is called this is the base so this is the base and this is the this is also the base now 4 and 2 are the powers or the indices in some books they call indices or you can also call them power. So these are variables with same base and different power. So when you have the same base, the rule is if you have the same base and they are multiplied, you add the powers or add the indices. So the rule, if you want to write this as a general rule, so the rule is like this. x to the power m, m is a number times x to the power n, is x to the power n m plus n. So let's apply one more example. Suppose if it is 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 3 is 2 to the power 4 plus 3 which is 7. Okay, so you can check this on a calculator if you have a calculator. So let's understand this, the rule, how does this work? So you can go 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to 3. So this is 2 to the power 3, sorry, 2 to the power 4 is 16 times 2 to the power 3 is 8. So that is 128. And if you go 2 raised to 7, that should also give you the same answer. So here we can say 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power 7. Okay, so what happens if you are, so here if you want to remember this rule, when you're multiplying variables with same base, you add the powers or add the indices. So what would happen if you're dividing variables with different, uh, different indices or power? So, well, if it is 2 to the power, say, 10, divided by x, sorry, x to the power 10 divided by x to the power 4. So when you're multiplying uh, variables with the same base, you add the powers. So I hope you've got the answer. It's, you have to do the opposite of adding, which is taking away. So this is, which is x to the power 6. So let's take a simple example. So what are we saying? So always good to take example of numbers to understand. So what we're saying is, say 5 to the power of 4 divided by 5 cube or 5 squared, which is 5 to the power of 4 minus 2, which is 5 squared. And 5 squared, I hope you know, is, uh, is 25. So if you go, if you go like this, 5 raised to 4 divided by 5 raised to 2 or 5 squared is 25. And if you go 5 squared is 25. So this rule is really helpful when you've got, say, big expressions like this. Say 3 to the power 15 divided by, you can also have like this, 3 to the power 4 which is 3 to the power 15 take away 4, which is 3 to the power 11. Now this is a very huge number, 3 to the power 11. 3 to the power 11, I hope you know, is 3 multiplying to itself 11 times. So let's do this. Let's go the other way around. 3 raised to 11. That's this number, 177,147. So if you go 3 raised to 15 divided by 3 raised to 4, we'll give you the same answer. So 
we saw two rules so let's re rewrite the rule so the first rule is x to the power a times x to the power b is equal to x to the power a plus b so the rule is simply telling you that if you have the same base and you're multiplying them you have to add the the indices or the power and when you're dividing you take away the power so this is x to the power a divided by x to the power b is x to the power a minus b okay now this is called when powers are you're dividing powers or dividing um, variables with different indices of power now what would happen if you got power of a power say if you have say x squared raised to 4 now to understand this rule so let me write, give you the rule so first and then I'll explain the rule so this when you got power of power or you have bracket between two powers so this is called power of power you multiply the power so x time x raised to 2 times 4 which is x raised to 8 so let's understand this without the rule so this basically means this is x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared so this x squared is multiplied four times now using this first rule well we can say this is the same as x raised to 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so you're adding 2 four times that is same as x raised to 4 times 2 or 2 times 4 and that's how you get this answer x raised to 8 so let me write the third rule here so if you've got power of power x raised to a raised to b is x raised to a times b or a b like this so let's take some examples to use all these three rules okay so here what if you have say g to the power 4 times g to the power 7 well you've got the same base and you're multiplying these two expressions so you have to add the powers so this is x to the g to the power 11 okay what if you have p to the power say 12 divided by p to the power 3 so you're dividing powers or dividing variables with different the same base and you're dividing them so you have to take away so this is 12 take away 3 is 9 okay so let's take some more examples what if you have 15 say s to the power 9 divided by 10 uh, s cube so here you have to treat the numbers separately and the variables separately so let's do 15 over 10 let's simplify 15 over 10 you can divide both by 5 so if you divide both by 5 uh, 5 goes in 15 3 times and 5 goes in 10 twice so this is 3 over 2 and then you can say s to the power 9 divided by s cube so here you're applying the uh, power rule so this is s to the power 6 or this is same as 1.5 so you can write this answer is 1.5 s to the power 6 you could have also written 3 over 2 s to the power 6 both are right okay so what will you do if you have 16 x squared times say 4x to the power 7 again you got you got multiply the numbers so let me do it here side working so 16 times 4 you can use a calculator or it is 64 and you got x squared times x to the power 7 which is x to the power 9 so the answer is 64 x to the power 9 Okay, let's do a few more. Suppose what if you have 
say it is 16 uh, a to the power 6 b cube divided by say 20 a times b squared so you got three you have to simplify the numbers and the letters separately so this is 16 over 20 so well you can divide both by 4 okay so 16 divided by 4 is 4 and this is 5 so this is 4 over 5 and this is a to the power 1 so a to the power 6 divided by a to the power 1 is a to the power 5 and then you got b cube divided by b squared which is b to the power 1 or that is just as b so this is you can write the answer like this so this is 4 fifth or this is also 0 0.8 a to the power 5 times b and that's your answer okay so let's do some examples of power of power what would happen if you have something like this say phi a cube b squared raised to 4 so here you got three expressions inside the bracket and each of them have a power so this phi has a power of 1 so well this has to go like this so you have to simplify this you have to multiply this power of power to each of the expressions inside the bracket so there will be phi raised to 1 times 4 a raised to 3 times 4 and b raised to 2 times 4 so this is phi raised to 4 a raised to 12 b raised to 8 now you can use a calculator so let's use the calculator what is phi raised to 4 so phi raised to 4 is 625 so you, the answer would be 625 a raised to 12 b raised to 8 and that's the answer so now you can work from in your workbook I want you to work from exercise D on page 76 and 77 page 76 76 and 77 where you can apply the uh, power rules to simplify algebraic expression 